How can online tools help reporters become citizen scientists? A recent series of articles in USA Today tracked down American schools that lie in the middle of toxic hotspots. Uh, we decided we wanted to look at the impact of industrial pollution uh, around the country, and in particular we wanted to focus on the impact on children. Children are more susceptible to toxic chemicals than adults are. They breathe more air in proportion to their weight than adults do. Some of the data they used already existed in software developed by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. The data that the authors of that study used is available actually on the internet on the US EPA's website and it is essentially what we call the toxic release inventory and it's an inventory of chemicals that are emitted either into the air or water or the ground um, from industries in the United States. The reporters then took the locations of schools and matched it with these data. We followed up after we did the modeling by monitoring, doing snapshot monitoring at about 95 locations. And that was done by reporters and editors of the newspaper. And then we collected the samples and sent them to the lab at either Johns Hopkins or the University of Maryland. And they were the ones who analyzed and interpreted the results. Nationwide, they found many schools in high polluting areas. In fact, a couple of Berkeley schools made the top 1% of the list. USA Today also created an interactive tool that shows where schools stand. And part of our goal here is really one of education. It's to get people who might not be paying attention to this to take a closer look. So why didn't the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency run the data themselves? Well, I think U.S. EPA has done a lot of work uh, around children's exposures at school and they primarily focused on what's going on inside of the school. They haven't really looked at what's going on in the outside environment uh, for schools. So I am personally happy that USA Today uh, did this report because I think it, it took tools that were available, took information that was available, and is going to help prioritize where local agencies and state agencies might focus their efforts to reduce exposures in the outside air to these kids.